Okay, your challenge is to practice what we just learned about adding a constructor method. Inside of our app component, you will remove the class field and initialize the state value inside the constructor instead. And then you'll also remove the arrows from these class methods and convert them back into regular class methods. But then you'll need to make sure to bind those inside the constructor method. I have more details in the step-by-step -step that I put up here, so make sure to follow those. Pause the screencast and work on this challenge. Okay, let's start by creating a constructor, and then I'm going to move my state into that constructor, but make sure to start it with this dot state, and that should handle the state portion of it. Although I did skip the first line of this, which should be a call to the super class. This function super is something that's just built in and can be called inside of a class constructors method, so it's not magic that we can call that, it's just something built into JavaScript. Next, I need to come down and remove the arrows from these arrow functions, so we'll go ahead and remove those. And then, because these functions or these methods are making use of this dot set state, I need to make sure to bind those methods inside of my constructor. The syntax for that is to say this dot add is equal to this dot add dot bind this. Then I'll duplicate that and change my references to add to be subtract. And then I should be able to hit save and everything should be working the way that it was. Awesome. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much of a slog. I know that some of this syntax can be pretty foreign if you haven't looked at it before. But next, as kind of a little bonus, we'll get to see one way in which using a class component with state is actually kind of a benefit over using a function component with state. I mean, in truth, it's probably still better to plan on using a functional component using useState, but this will be like a little ray of sunshine maybe into some of the, maybe the heavier topics that we've been learning about. So that's what we'll look into next.